Hi there guys, it's Dan, Deathbringer Kane here and I'm bringing you a very special unboxing it's like Christmas has come early I've got a big, big pile of relic stuff to go through I the lovely look of these guys and got some little tin sh uh, puppet soldiers because I've got the Britain, Britannians, Britain, uh, Britannians oh, it, you guys can decide how you pronounce it but anyway, I'm going to go through in fine detail at all this lovely goodness we've got here. We're we'll back in a second, guys, when we're going to get the first unit, well, bag unboxed, as it were. And we'll be looking at these lovely little dice. Okay, guys, back in a second. Hi guys, welcome to the first part of this uh, this huge unboxing video I've got going. Now this one's the faction dice for the Britannans or Britannans. I'm probably going to pronounce it multiple ways in, in this uh, in this video. Um, but what a good way to get started with your little um, with your own faction, with your own faction dice. Lovely little red string there. There's not um, not too much going on the dice because that I've seen dice in the past where they've look gorgeous but you couldn't see what you'd rolled so uh, let's, let's give them a good test guys see how these are actually going to be keeping the shot oh god sorry relics I think we, we've got a problem here uh, I mean look at that oh we have no problem exactly statistical right forget that so very nice touch nice thing to have in you for your army so that's the uh, faction dice guys obviously there's no assembly for this one so We'll move on to the next one. Hi there guys. Uh, next in line is the Troopers, the Britain and Troopers. So, got two bags of these and uh, three in each. So we'll have a look at one because I'm pretty sure they'll probably be the same. So, see if I can not fail off these and let's get them out and have a look. So, First things first for me, uh, I've got lip basing, which is quite a new thing for me. Um, I've always been quite um, used to the Games Workshop. War Machine doesn't do it for me. You know, it's probably a wonderful game, but you know, if you don't like you get how a game looks, you're you're less likely to play it. So, let's have a look at the components. So, I've got some lovely puppet heads. So let's zoom in here and get some nice close-up shots of these guys. Oh, and have some focus, please. Oh, there we go. So, lovely little hats. Look, even a bit oh, as cheerful as um, a puppet can be when it's forced to fight, I suppose, or other force. I don't know. I'm not too sure of the um, storyline of this one just yet, guys. Please forgive me. But we got three um, lovely-looking bodies, looking like those nice Napoleonic troopers that they are. I'm. You have some nice fun doing some red coats, I think, for these guys. So we've got another one there. And here we've got the lovely uh, muskets or, or rifles, if you, whichever one you want to do. With nice bayonets there. Apparently bayonets um, save lives. Um, hard to believe, but yeah, that's what, apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know what you think of that. Anyway, on to, we'll get these assembled and we'll be back in a moment, guys, so you can see them in their all their glory. Right, guys, we're back again. This time it's the Troopers. Love a little post here. Guy going in there with his um, rifle butt. Got a twat right around the head. Lots of detail there. I really like the look of these guys. So that's the one post there. I mean, um, there's only three. Oh, exactly the same one there. There's only three kind of poses, but the, the ability, of the very fact that the heads are separate, allows you to, to make a, a, a very same looking model look quite different to each other. So, the guy going in there with his bayonet, really quite nice. I love these hats. Another one there. And then a guy kind of shooting from the hip, I think. Oh, there we go. Try and get the right kind of light here, guys. 
can see actually see the detail. But it's a really nice looking model. So that's my puppet troopers and we're on to the next unit guys. Hi there guys, next it's the Highlanders. What army would be complete without some guys in skirts? Oh sorry, kilts. So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, that's what you're all here for, not to just hear listen to me babble on about stuff, so nice double-handed swords there in these guys with a um a nice big sword shield in the back. Got bonnie hill hat on there. Some very interesting looking guys. Ready to unleash the power of the big swords. So guys, I'm gonna get oh focus please, thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Nice sword there for the guy. Or maybe holding his own. Alright guys, so get it, get it, well as much as it's probably gonna take me to glue this guy into his um, appropriate place, I'm gonna get these guys assembled and we'll be back in a second. Right guys, it's time for the Highlanders. And these really didn't require any assembly at all. Just a matter, fine matter of sticking them in the base. Oh, and let's get them in the shot. There we go. I really love what, look, give these um, puppets a um, Scottish feel. Nice big swords. And kilts. Some really nice detail there. His sash and thing on his sword, shield on his back. The only one I'm not too sure about is this one. Maybe he's just on his downward swing. But still a nice model. Still looking quite angry for a puppet. With his huge sword. But so that's the Highlanders guys. So we're on to the next unit. Okay guys, next in line is the lovely little casualty markers. Um, just when you, you, you guys have had the stuffing knocked out of them. Uh, pun not intended, or was it? I don't know. Anyway, lovely little um, pieces there. Don't know if I'll stick uh, if I'll stick these on bases or not. Would let would tie them into the rest of the army. Um, but see what we can do. But anyway, very lovely little sculpts there. Just what you need to represent where your little puppets have died. Oh, so sad. No puppet, you dead puppet. Anyway, guys, on to the next unit. Right guys, next in line is the Britannon Dragoons. These are kind of like uh, centaur type guys, so let's, without further ado, let's get them out of packaging this and have a look at them. And then, go zoom. So, almost like a pathfind horse, that one. So we've got the hindquarters there guys, goes like, kind of like that, interesting bits, wheel, I have to get these to get guys together to make full sense of them I think, but some very interesting um, goings on here, a bit of cavalry, a bit of, bit of pistol play going on, looks, looks at things, so guys we'll be back in a second once we've got these, these assembled, Hi there guys, I've just finished assembling the Dragoons, uh, these guys are really quite weird and interesting, we've got little uh, puppet cavalry uh, on one guy with a nice pistol and sword there, with an, a nice fancy helmet with a plume, uh, really lovely detail if I can get the bloody thing to focus, mm, let's try a bit, there we go, it's a bit better, so Really nice detail there. Really interesting idea. We've got like a centaur thing going on. But then we up the weirdness stay because this guy um, 
it's exactly the same, and I'm showing you the wrong models, guy. But that's uh, <laughs> let's get you another one. So that's uh, one of the poses. Well, here we go. Here's the um, weirdness. You know, you've all seen those those pets with um, replaced limbs, with wheels. Now that's what I see here, but it's really, really out there, and I really like that. It's quite really out there, and bizarre. But really nice idea. I like the look of that. And here's the um, other one. Really rickety as well. So guys, that was the Dragoons. Dragoons even. And we're on to the next unit. Hi there guys. Back again in the next part. For this time it's the Grenadiers. So, as I look and see what these guys are all about. Where I'm getting worse at opening these bags, these bags, guys. I think the time's getting worse. So, look at these little little helmets. So let's get that up. Closer look. Oh, I'm out of focus again. So, oh look at. So lovely hat helmets there, guys. Reminds me of the uh, Queen's Guard. Lot of something scary going on that middle one. Is that some kind of blunderbuss or a club? I'm not too sure, guys. Oh, in shot with a good. So, pointing out, going out, I'm going to get you guys. So, there you go. That's, that's a nice one there. Yeah, nice. Oh. Very tiny. So, but also very epic. It's a blunderbuss, guys. I mean, it just looks like a big club to me at the moment. We'll have to see what it is. I mean, it's number one there on his shoulder, and then a gun for the other guy. So, back in a second, guys, and um, we'll get these assembled. Hi, guys, I've got the Grenadiers assembled, and I'm absolutely loving these guys. I'm loving the, um, the, the helmets. And the nice oversized grenade launchers, which you all thought like clubs to me. But some very nice poses there. Like there we go, this guy using it as a club. One thing I did side side downside, I did had to pin these heads on. Um, not not always a big problem, but still a, a little bit. Frustrated, I suppose. Um, not, not the end of the world. So, there you go. There are the grenadiers. Love little mon monsters, models. So, on to the next unit, guys. Next, guys, it's the Britain marksman. Uh, every every army needs a set of sharpshooters, so this and this one is no different. So let's get these guys out of the bag and have a look at them. So got a nice, interesting one on a, on a scenic base here, leaning up against the wall, peeking over, ready to shoot out. Fits in its lip base there, so that's actually get zoomed in so you can see these better, guys. Another one kneeling down, bracing his, bracing his shot with his rifle. Now I'm probably going to give these guys some green coats for the 95th rifles. Uh, any, any of you guys know um, see, know what Sharp is from with Sean Bean, so we've got some uh, tri-corner hats there. Not too much assembly required for these ones it looks like. So I'm going to get these guys assembled and we'll be back in a second to have a closer look at these guys. Okay. Shot of the rifle there for another guy. Okay guys, back in a second. Right guys, we're back again. The next unit is the Marksman. Now these guys didn't take very long to assemble because they're pretty much um, either one piece or two pieces or... 
three in this case, so, but nice looking idea. Mark's when laying down, preparing for his shot. I mean, this guy I haven't stuck to the base yet because I'm going to do something different with that. Because he's not got a tab to glue him in there. So I'll have a big hole in the middle of the base, which I don't want. But, love a little model. He's crouched down there with his, le with his wooden legs. Like an evil Pinocchio. So that's the marksman, guys. And we're now on to the next unit. Right guys, this time, Sergeant Major, because of course you need someone to keep all the ruffians of the troops in line, so let's get him open and have a look. So, let's get a, it's a nice zoom in there guys. So you can, looks like you've got a choice of weapons here guys, but very interesting guy with a nice uh, wig on the back there. Ready to keep those other puppets in line. Choice of uh, weapons there. Some interesting accessories here. So, guys, we're we'll back in a second. Of once I've got this, this dude assembled. Right, guys, this next unit is the Sergeant Major. Um, little sub character guy. Really nice little um, pose. Like there's a lot. I like the options. Went for a pistol and a sword here. The option available for you out there. If you had a, a pike and like a, a, a horn, so you could shout orders to his troops. But I went for a guy with his pistol and sword. But really nice looking model. A bit of authority in this guy. With his powdered wig. Looks like he's going to um, get those troops in line. So that's the sergeant major guys, and we're on to the next model. Right guys, lastly it's the puppeteer, the guy at the back pulling all the strings and commanding the army. So let's get this guy out and have a look and see what's going on with him. Already I'm noticing a dramatic size increase, so he's a bit taller than the rest of the guys. Nice little helmet, uh, helmet, hat. Of course every, every um, gentleman should be wearing a hat these days, yes. So, Got a little pistol and a nice little. Uh, oh, and I'm really, I'm really far out here, guys. Let's have a look at this. Let's get this guy in. Some close detail. Get him out of the way so he doesn't think I'm trying to look him up. There you go. So that's a nice little little looking skull rub there. And we're building it up. So we've got nice looking guy. Obviously, where his hat goes. A nice gentleman's sword, it would seem. Okay, guys, we'll be back in a second. Oh, of course, we've got to look at his heart first, haven't we? Can't do that, but I don't feel like it's heart. It's a lovely little piece of work. Okay, guys, we'll be back in a second once he's assembled. Right guys, last but no means least is the puppeteer, the guy who's controlling it all I believe. He's got his uh, puppet, uh, yeah, is it Yoko? I'm not entirely sure guys, but I think that's what I'm going to call it now, it's a puppet yoke. Maybe. So, get him in some shot there. Really looking quite maniacal or um, evil or what do you call it. Puppet yoke in the back there, his hand on his sword ready to splice some guys if he needs to so it's a really nice looking model I'm liking that so guys that was my uh, little introduction to um, relics and the models um, of the Britain faction um, drop us a, a comment below what you think of um, the of look of these models and um, what you think to the review anything you, you, you think I could have done better or or anything you, you things you liked um, if, if you haven't hit the like button already please do so, it really helps my channel out, it helps me uh, to get more, more people to see the, 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 uh, my videos I put out, and also, 
please share it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, this is Dan Definitely with Kane signing out, and hopefully we'll, we'll um, see some more Relics videos quite soon when I've got these guys um, painted up and actually get something done with the bases. Okay, guys, that's me signing out. Catch you later.